Hello, this is Vitualis the Chess Noob, learning and having fun with chess. Do you like winning in 8 moves with checkmate? Then have a look at this amazing line against the Kara Khan that's occurred over a thousand times already on Lee Chess. I'm going to quickly cover the line and then we'll look at it in a little bit more depth with some analysis. So it begins with e4 and then c6 against the Kara Khan defense. So d4, d5, knight c3, um, and pawn captures. So basically the classical variation. And now a bit of a deviation from the main line with bishop to c4, which is the von Hennig gambit. Opponent now develops knight to f6, very sensible. We push pawn to f3, pawn captures, capture back with knight uh, to f3. And now a, again, sensible looking bishop to g4, pinning the uh, knight against the queen. And now knight jumps forward to e5, a, or almost a oh no my queen moment. Opponent takes the queen and then suddenly, seemingly out of nowhere, we, we now have bishop captures pawn on f7. That's checkmate. Good game, GG, what on earth just happened? Let's have a look at the analysis in a bit more depth. So this is what the chess.com uh, engine considers uh, about the match. So this is Stockfish 15 with the neural uh, network at depth 30. So high accuracy, no bad moves, uh, which is good. So it's useful to know that this particular line, there are no really, really bad moves. Uh, the opponent played less accurately. But very interesting to note is that every one of the opponent's moves were the top most frequent move in response to our moves in lower rated games. So this is very, very trappy uh, for the opponent. I first learnt of the Von Hennig Gambit from the Chess Bootcamp channel. So shout out to Chess Bootcamp for uh, covering this wonderful line. E4. C6, Karakhan defense. You know, Karakhan defense is a very, very good defense for black. In fact, when I look at the Lee Chess community database for lower rated, lower rated games of Blitz and Rapid, it is the only response by black where black immediately has a slight win ratio advantage over white. The only one. So there is something to that. Uh, the Sicilian comes close, it's equal, but black wins more of these games after move one than white uh, with lower rated players. Absolutely amazing. d4, d5, knight c3, and they take a so very, very standard sort of mainline Kara Khan, and now bishop c4, the von Hennig gambit. So prioritizing peace development, you know, also placing pressure on f7, which will become useful, over taking back that pawn. Uh, now, von Hennig, by the way, was a German naval officer in the late 1800s and also the 1900s. I think uh, maybe a U-boat, uh, was involved in sort of U-boat fleet. Um, he played a lot of chess and sort of lends his name to a couple of gambits, including this one. Now, from this position, the most logical move by black, uh, the most frequently played move by black, and the best move is knight to f6, uh, immediately defending that hard one pawn. And what we want to do, of course, is to destabilize that with f3, because we want to get our knight to the f3 square, and we can't do that while the pawn is on d4. Seemingly, you know, it looks like black must do something about that pawn. Uh, now, if they don't do anything, we'll take and they can't capture back because that square is defended also by the knight. Uh, if they push forward, well, that doesn't make any sense because we'll just capture back the bishop with development. And so the most, so a logical move, a good move, and the most commonly played move is the pawn will capture the other pawn and we'll take back, of course, with the knight, getting our knight to the right place. Now, on, on this position, at this position is where our plans can come a little bit awry. The most common move by black in lower rated games is bishop to g4, ostensibly pinning our knight to our queen. However, for higher rated players, this is not 
the most common move. They sort of recognize that this may not be good. And if, in fact, we look at sort of Stockfish's evaluation, we see, in fact, that is plus 2.5. It isn't good, it's a blunder. Uh, and so higher rate of players who sort of know what's up here will potentially play better moves. And, and that has a theme of queenside expansion. So for example, with b5, I think is the best move, uh, but a5 is also perfectly good, or just developing the bishop to its natural square, f. Five, rather than sort of something very, very aggressive. Any of those me, any of these moves, so b5, a5, bishop f5, black is ahead. Uh, it's ahead by that minus one, and we, us with the uh, white pieces, we just have to deal with it. You just have to try to win with good chess. It is a gambit after all, which means you do give up something uh, for the potential advantage. And here, black can really take it back. Uh, however, this is still the most commonly played move by black in this position, especially at lower rated games. And this is the interesting thing here, right? You know, every move I've shown you with black seems logical, seems natural. Uh, there's nothing weird that we're expecting black to do. And when I looked at the Lee Chess Committee database um, at sort of all the games, uh, statistically, once you start the Von Hennig Gambit, you will end up in this position uh, about 20% uh, of the time. And after you make the knight move, they'll take the queen about half the time. And so basically, once you start the Von Hennig Gambit in sort of lower rated blitz and rapid, there's somewhere between a 10 to 20 chance you will get the checkmate win line. That's incredible when you think about it. There's a 10 to 20% chance you will just get that checkmate win. Absolutely great. Now, here, there is a psychological trick you need to do. So they've ostensibly pinned us. And so you need to play this move knight to e5 very quickly. Because it needs to look like the opponent's made a move, you're playing carelessly, you just chuck out that move, and that move ostensibly has a logic. I'm being attacked by the bishop, and so I'm going to move my knight to counterattack the bishop, and I just missed the fact I'm hanging the queen. That's the mentality you're trying to engender in the opponent. That's the psychological brinksmanship. If you take too long to make that move, it looks like you thought about it for too long, it's, it's terribly suspicious looking, right? You know, the opponent's going to wonder, why did you just hang your queen? And then they'll probably see the trap. So you need to play that move quickly, uh, and they'll probably take. Now, let's say they don't take. They say, oh, gee, there's a problem here. I, I need to do something about that, do something about that pawn. Well, there's a number of options. Let's say they try to block the bishop with uh, e6. Well, that's fantastic. You're just completely up a piece. You can take the bishop, and the opponent can't take back because you're guarding it with the queen. You're winning. So that's fantastic. Uh, and very often here, I think a black will just freak out and, and not see you know, what, what is the best move. Another uh, so seemingly common move, if you look at Lee Chess, is uh, bishop to h5, which is a straight up blunder, an egregious blunder. In fact, in fact, it's plus 10. Here, it looks like the bishop is being protected by the knight, but it's not. You can just take that bishop because uh, if they take the queen with their knight, see, it's a brilliant move, uh, if they take, um, you can give checkmate all the same. The knight cannot capture the queen for exactly the same reason why the bishop could not capture the queen. They're hanging mate in one. So if they get to this position, in fact, they'll have to move their queen because they need the queen to be evacuated from that square so that the king can go to the d8 square next turn. Uh, all the while, you've got three pieces staring at sort of uh, f7, plus 10, you're completely winning. You're doing very, very well. Now, the best move here for uh, for black, if they find themselves in this position, is to play bishop to e6. Here, for white, you should take the bishop, they'll capture back, and it's about plus two. It's about plus two. Um, uh, you're still down a piece, but you've got much, much better development. You know, you can short castles, bishops coming out. You know, that bishop's going nowhere soon. This knight is stuck. Uh, these, you know, rooks, they're not going to enter the party anytime soon. You are way ahead. You need to take advantage of that plus two win in the middle game. 
back to this position, you know, uh, it's an oh no my queen position, so uh, bishop captures, very very common, single most common move, you take back here with the bishop, checkmate, gg. The big takeaway from this game is that the von Hennig gambit is worth including in your arsenal against the Karl Khan. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.